Well, I'll tell you, for good old Bobby the Barbasol boy, yours truly, Christmas came early this year. So last week I started getting some rumblings in the comments section. Have you heard? Have you heard? You see what they just released? And I said, no, what are you talking about? Well, whatever are you, what, what are you speaking of? They came out, oh, let's start off with saying this. You guys know I love Barbasol, right? You know, I'm a big Barbasol fan. I love me some Barbasol products, history, novelties. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and I got some good friends over there at Barbasol that treat me very nice, and sometimes they send me some stuff, and this time they sent me something out of the blue, and those rumblings were true. Barbasol released this back in 2019 to celebrate their 100th, 100th anniversary. Barbasol 1919, this is the non-lathering, it's just the, the smooth, slick shaving cream, and I absolutely love the smell of this stuff. As much as I love this, I love this too. I don't know how they did it. I actually talked to two of the gentlemen that worked on this, and they knocked it out of the park. So, on many, many occasions, I said, would you guys put out an aftershave that smells like this? Please put out an aftershave that smells like this. They put out an aftershave that smells like this. Guys, the Barbasol 1919 aftershave balm is here. That's me smiling in the middle between two of my favorite products. I am so thank you to the folks at Barbasol up there in Dublin, Ohio, their parent company, Perio, for sending this to me. I had arrived on Friday and I was so excited. They didn't even say anything. They just sent it, so I really appreciate it. We're gonna use these today, and we're gonna use this today too. Well, not this one. Use the old Jurassic Park one. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, please indulge me for this one, a little Barbasol crazy. Little Bobby the Barbasol boy is back. And I'm going to use the Barbasol razor uh, from the, I think this is from the 30s. I don't think, well, I did a whole review on this a couple of years ago. There it is in its little box. Chromium. It's the kind that twists off from the bottom. This is such a great design. You just twist that. It's, you're like, oh, what am I doing? Oh, the top came off. Yes. Simple. The, one of the simplest two-piece razors. And I, I do like the kind that you unscrew from the top and the, and the, or from the bottom and the top comes off. I love that kind. So, we're going to put a feather blade, brand new feather stainless blade, into that little guy right there. Those, that weird shape in the middle always confused me when I was a kid. I was like, why is it that shape? Looks like a little TIE fighter there at the end. I just noticed that. Hey! All right. That's because you can then fit it over any guard that any razor company makes. You know, if it's a slot, if it's got weird little shapes, if it's got a TIE fighter shape, it'll fit. Your razor will fit, even in an old, 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 old one like this. Or an even older, older one. This one's 102 years old, 104 years old. Still works. Still uses modern blades. Shaves beautifully. That's why I love this. Let's put the top back on. Put the bottom back on. Screw it down. Flip it upright. Tighten it off. Yeah, make sure the blade is sticking out the proper way it seems to be. And we're ready to shave. All right, so I took a shower, did my hair. I'm going to put a base coat of the 1919. I'm not going to shave my... I know you've been... Even noticing the mustache, so have I. I really can't wait to shave it off uh, for Halloween next week. So next next Monday, I might. You, it'll be a shave down. I'm going to shave it to a pencil thin mustache. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of this on as a base coat because the only thing I don't like about 1919 is that sometimes I, I start to lose where it is because it soaks into my skin and I can't see where I've shaved. So today, I'm going to put it on as a base coat because it is so slick. And I love the smell of it. It does go on white, so you can see it. But then after a while, it does start to fade away. Unless you're really quick. Oh, I love the smell of this stuff. I don't know what they put together or what combination. But, you know, it's just one of those things, you know. Certain scents just vibrate on the level that you're at. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not like I'm from California or something. I'm vibrating on the Barbasol level. Well, that will move. I don't know. All right. Let's put some... Barbasol beard buster on that looks like it's all rusted. This is from Jurassic World Dominion. Seems a little low these many months ago that that was released, right? I haven't seen it. I'm not a big dinosaur guy, but uh, I do like that Barbasol came out with that. And I, I bought so many cans of that stuff. I have like 20 cans in my closet. So I'm not running out of that anytime soon. I might have to do a little uh, uh, giveaway, a scavenger hunt or something. Give you maniacs one of my... Uh, 
one of my Dominion Barbasol cans. I'll like leave it somewhere and give you some hints so you can go try to find it. And there actually is someone in town that emailed me. If you're waiting for, let me get this out of the way before I start shaving. If you're waiting for a review because you sent me a product, I'm getting to it. I just need to do more research on your razor or your attachment to a razor. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. I like to do the best research that I can to make sure that I give the best review I can. And uh, it's, there's another gentleman in, in Austin that, that emailed me and said, hey, I've got some vintage stuff if you'd like it. So we might set up a meeting there. I haven't contacted you by email, but I'm letting you know right here. Hopefully you're watching. All right, let's shave. Oh, I can't wait. It's a little bit smaller. Check it out. Because, you know, you don't need to use that much aftershave compared to shaving cream, especially if you do more than one pass like I do. Here we go with the 1930s barbers. Oh, whoa, that was like a cushion. That felt like a cushion. That was nice. With the 1919 underneath and the uh, the foamy on top, I'm getting the best of both worlds, folks. I'm getting the best of all worlds. Now, the 1919 can clog your razor a little bit, so just wash it off. It's easy. It comes out. You know, as you're, as you're shaving like I am right now, the non-lathering but extremely slick 1919 will get into the little crevice. A little bit of a splash, a little bit of a swish, you can get it out, it's no big deal. Man, this is so comfortable and smooth. This feels great. I think I found a perfect combination for a quick shave when I don't want to lather, you know? Lather up using traditional brushes and stuff. Slap a little 1919 on there instead of, you know, like shave oil. And then put some, you know, some of this on top of it. So I don't know if the fact that I brought it up a few times, and I haven't brought it up in a long time, so it can't be me, can it? <laughs> but I know they watch my videos, my friends over at Barbasol, and uh, hopefully they, they're like, yeah, we do need to do that, but I'm sure they, they had it planned the whole time, so. But maybe I was just a bug in their ear, you know, every now and then, just like, oh yeah, we need to do that. I'm filling my little basin up with some more hot water, if you heard that. Oh, man. So I'm having a much better Monday than I had last Monday. Last Monday was tough because we'd had a tough night the night before. But uh, we've had some really good family talks over the past week and trying to sort some things out and figure some things out. You know, it's just when you're a parent, you know, you got to do these. You got to do work. You know, you got to work at your marriage. You got to work at being a good father, good mother, good whatever. Good aunt or uncle or whoever you are if you're taking care of kids, you know, if you're the guardian. It takes work, and sometimes that work is hard. And sometimes it can be emotionally taxing as well. But you know, if you're able to just talk to the people that you're having these times with, usually you can come to a good, calm ground, and you'll feel so much better. And I know I do. So anyway, that was an update from last Monday. Put some water. Oh, this, see, the, that's what I love about the 1919. The residual slickness. I mean, I could shave. I could do my next pass without putting anything on my face right now, I'm sure. But what I'm going to do... Just put a little bit more Barbasol on, yeah. You know, I should, oh, I was going to say, <laughs> Barbasol does make aftershaves. I do have a splash uh, of theirs, but it doesn't smell like the original Barbasol. I had some body wash that I recently just ran out of. Like, it took me like four years to go through this huge bottle of Barbasol body wash. And it smells like the original stuff, like this stuff. And I also have some uh, body lotion that smells like the original. So I love those. But I just used up the body wash. I still got plenty of lotion left. And now I got a little bit of extra lotion. A little extra lotion. The Sinatra Lennon story. Why does my brain do that? Every time I hear myself make some silly statement, I go, that's going to be the name of my autobiography. <laughs> it's like this common joke. Or if you hear like a weird combination of words like, that's a good band name. I don't know why I go to that all the time. But this, I swear, I'm telling you, this is one of the most comfortable shaves I've had in a long time. And this is a good razor. It's kind of a mild razor, but it's a good design. It's solid, man. I think, gosh, I'm, I should have looked to see what year it is, but I think it's from the 30s. I love shaving with history. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love using vintage razors. Modern razors are great. There's just something special. You know, all the little rust spots and uh, wear marks on the knurling of the handle, you know, that indicate its age and its use over the years. And then I get to wondering who the guys were that used it or the girls or whoever used it. You know what I mean? 
Okay, I'm going to do two passes today, I think. And then just like a touch-up at the end. That's what I'm feeling today. Normally I do three, but I'm feeling that today. This coming Friday, now this is not set in stone yet. And I'll have to make the, uh, the shaving video the day before. But if you happen to be watching game one of the World Series down in Houston, you might see me sitting in the crowd. You might. You might. That's all I'm saying. May the best team win. And uh, good game to everybody else. Good game. Good game. Good game. I think they should make grown men, the MLB players, at the end of a game, like they do in Little League, go and shake hands across the field. You know, they start from third base and first base. Good game. Good game. Good game. Shake hands. Good game. Good game. And then they go back. I think they should do that. Take that ego down a little bit, those millionaires. <laughs> You millionaires, go out there and shake hands. Okay. All right. Oh, man. I'm just going to lay down right here and go to sleep. Feel good. And a good sleep. Not a, like I'm tired sleep, but just like, oh, I feel so. Wish me luck in all the rest of the things, okay? Okay. All right. A couple of problem spots, as usual. The angle down from my earlobe to my Adam's apple. Both sides, mostly on this side. I don't know why, but I know my face. And then just kind of a once over for like a direction that I haven't gone in, like a sideways, you know? Don't do this if your skin is real sensitive. I had a great uh, phone conversation with a young man who has tried everything in the book. Uh, he's got eczema like my father has and my brother has psoriasis. I've had psoriasis. So I, I'm very familiar with these skin conditions and he uh, has problems with his neck getting red. And so he wrote this beautiful long email and he told me every single thing he tried. Hoped that I had some insight. And I didn't have any insight for any new products he could use, but I, I did uh, let him know about my own experience with uh, copay prescriptions for those kind of, because those kind of drugs that help clear up your skin when you have eczema or psoriasis, those kind of things. So we had a, a lovely conversation. I just called him out of the blue. You know, he put his phone number in the email. And he answered, and I said, do you know who this is? And he did. So, anyway, that was nice to talk to someone that needed a little bit of help, and I, I, I couldn't just write a really long email. I had to get to the point real quick, so that was nice talking to a fan of the channel who really needed some help, and I hope that I gave you just a little bit of knowledge for, uh, you know, in a, a new direction. Hopefully you can find some help and uh, let me know if... If it, if, if it does help out. All right, folks. The Barbasol 1919 after shave balm moisturizes and soothes, reduces irritation. <sighs> yeah, all right, let's put it in. I'm going to use a little bit more than I normally would just because I want to smell it. It's very, yep. Oh, man. It smells just, pretty much just exactly like the shaving cream. I think there's a slight, slight difference. And maybe it's not as strong or as a good aftershave should. It should be present in the nostril and then fade away fairly quickly. You don't want to be it lingering and you're just like in your nose all day long. Just a hint, just a hint. Like any good, you know, the amount you use has a lot to do with that too. So I probably use a little too much, but it feels so good, it feels so slick. And you know what? Even after you put aftershave on, you can still, if you feel like a couple of problem spots, if you're slightly anal retentive like I am, go back and get it. Your skin can handle that little bit that I just did. If your skin can handle it. If it's too sensitive, don't. I'm done, folks. I did it. Barbasol, you did it again. You did it again. The aftershave that I've been waiting for. I'm so glad you guys did it. I kind of knew you would just because, I mean, you, you worked so hard to get this thing out that I knew that there had to be a time when you would match it with his. So I'm so glad you did. All right. And that's it for now. Thanks again to my, to my friends over at Barbasol up there in Dublin, Ohio, and everybody that works at Perio, and uh, to all of you who watch these videos. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, watch the World Series. You might see me. You might see me. I'll be the one wearing a, wearing a baseball cap with a big, dumb mustache. <laughs> I sent a picture of myself. I had these glasses on that I don't normally wear, sunglasses and a hat, a baseball cap, and this mustache, and I took a selfie. It was like, I don't even recognize myself. And I sent it to my friend, and they said, you look like a guy named Bob. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll put that picture up right now.
Anyway, have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you all very soon.